welcome back to the channel so I have with me my iPhone 11 and according to Apple uh, the operating temperature for this phone is between um, minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit and 113 degrees Fahrenheit so let's see how long this is going to last let's say if you drop your iPhone in very cold weather oh, oh right so like I said uh, it's minus 22 degrees outside right now and the wind chill factor makes it uh, feel like it's minus uh, 38 degrees Fahrenheit so we'll just let the iPhone sit there for a little bit and see uh, what changes happen uh, if it's going to stay on and if it turns off how long it takes for it to turn off so um, when the iPhone gets very hot you have an indicator that tells you to turn off your iPhone and wait for a few minutes but there you see we still have the iPhone on showing the date give it a few more minutes still on give it a few minutes more Let's see if I can get that off it's super cold so one of the reasons why we're doing this test is in case you find yourself in an emergency situation and uh, let's say your vehicle breaks down or you somehow find yourself in extreme extremely cold conditions uh, you should have an idea of how long it takes for an iPhone that leaves uh, 70 degrees and is suddenly outside how long it will take before that iPhone turns itself off again like Apple said uh, <clears throat> the operating temperatures for the iPhone and this is an iPhone 11 Pro Max would be minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit so let's do the test again see if it's still on yep still on that's good it's already survived for two minutes give it a little bit more time uh, I should say the wind is picking up right now it's kind of cold out here and uh, the black surface of the iPhone I think is helping absorb a little bit more of the of the heat coming from the Sun even though that may not play a very big role <clears throat> so we just give it a little bit more time oh with the wind chill is pretty bad out here pretty pretty bad and in this kind of uh, weather exposed skin would get frostbite within a few minutes so I have many layers on right now <laughs> and I don't intend to be out here for much longer let's take another look oh it's still there awesome it's lasting longer than I thought that's really good and I should say I have a full charge of uh, the battery full or close to full but the battery chemistry that they use in these uh, batteries is quite sensitive to temperatures I was gonna get the same thing for my motorcycle and uh, even though they have high cranking power but they don't do very well in cold weather so I believe it's also not recommended to recharge these batteries when they're too cold you have to warm them up same thing happens with I think Tesla vehicles uh, the batteries actually would turn themselves on slowly and then now uh, warm themselves up before they would accept charging from a supercharger when it gets cold so those are some of the downsides of uh, these newer battery chemistries let's take a look here again and see what's happening uh, it's still on 
<laughs> yeah, frozen solid. Give it one more minute, and if it lasts that long, then I call it good. Amazing. Yep, it's still on. Ooh, yeah, it's been a very bitter cold. 31st, <coughs> last day of the year, 2021. Hopefully, 2022 comes in with, uh, you know, better outcomes, and it's much better for people around the globe. The pandemic of 2021 has been such a terrible thing on the economy, on families. So we keep our fingers crossed and pray for a better 2022 for everyone. Alright, I think at this point we can call the test good. That has given enough time for the cold to travel throughout the phone. And if it's still on, then I think that's a very good thing. Uh, it means the iPhone can actually resist quite a bit in very cold weather. Okay, pick it up. We call it good. Yep, 45. So it's, it lasted more than five minutes, I'll call it. And that's good enough for me. Thanks for watching.